data center is a big modern building hosting many thousands, tens thousands of computers. At this point, we are working for the CERN. We are the brain implant of the high energy research activity at CERN and uh, we are ready to support many different scientific achievement, scientific projects and to handle the information technological background of these projects. We need reliable places to save our data, our scientific data, because, because it costs lots of money to create them. And after that, we would like to keep them for a while until we analyze and we dig out the scientific meaning of this data. However, we cannot really follow those huge only quantity of the data which appears and which will appear in the near future. So it is an interesting question how we can deal with the explosion of the data. I think, and my colleagues also think that the results or the solution, the solution of this problem is very simple. Possibly we will have our most valuable data, which is a small quantity, in the most safe, most uh, secure place. There will be a, a second level where we are keeping and managing the data uh, for many years. Uh, and this will be something like uh, 100, 1000, 10,000 petabyte, but not really more. And these data, these requests, high reliability data centers to maintain, to save these data. However, science will create many tens of thousands of petabyte data, and this is an interesting question, what will happen with those ones, but we will try to save them, but if we lose some, some data sometimes, such the life. So this is how progress is going on. It could happen that after a while, this data will be disappeared. Question that how we can manage, how we can analyze this data. So possibly by the time the computers, the chips will become so reliable that the three year maintenance and operation will be extended to five, seven or ten years. And if the changing of the processor is so long, it will become much more cheaper and we can manage, we can analyze, we can save this third level of data in these, uh, in these places which doesn't request so much, so careful consideration, uh, mostly just space and energy. And, and this is the question that how to build up, how to organize these three level of data and uh, how expensive will be, or I would say how cheap the maintenance of this three level of data in the near future. But my, my colleagues, even from Hungary, and I know that also around Europe, they used to use Amazon service and other, this type of public service. For example, they want to compare what is the service what Amazon uh, give and for example what what is the service what we are giving at the research center and they are very critical if if for example our service doesn't match the Amazon level or they are very much satisfied if we can do it better uh, the collaboration with these big company is not easy because if you're going to the real world outside of the research area immediately you have lots of patent lots of financial uh, barrier and also lots of money. In science, we, we do not have these barriers, so we are exchanging information freely. And uh, I would say that we carefully follow what is going on in the business world, and in that sense, Amazon and the other uh, public uh, big data sites, so they are part of the business world. But, but uh, simply just because of our uh, our business model, so we are much more working near each other and not together. That here in Hungary, people are very much interested in information technology 
and not only in the gaming, but also how to use computers. So it's very easy to find young people who are interested and we can train them and we can train them into those directions where they became uh, experts with, with high level of knowledge. And also this is a possibility for them to, to move into a direction where, where they, they think that they are doing an important important uh, thing and important, they're giving important contribution. So in that sense, in Hungary, the information technology, both from the social side and also both from the technology side, uh, because we have a long history in information technology, so it match each other very nicely. So this is why you can find many Hungarians uh, in big companies and uh, Hungarians are working in Silicon Valley. I used to meet them many places. And I would say, I, I can say that the, the information technology is, is one of the Hungarian specialty in, in the high technology fields.